second grade class, and they're going to be leading us today in worship. I want to read to you something while they're coming forward. This is found in the book of Job in God's Word. This is what it says. Job stood and he tore his robe in grief. He had just lost all of his children. He had just lost all of his animals. He had just saw, lost all but three of his servants. And he fell to the ground and worshiped. He said, I came into this world with nothing and I will leave with nothing. The Lord gives and the Lord, the Lord takes away. But blessed be the name of the Lord in my joy and in my pain. That's what we're going to talk about today. Would you stand as we have the pledges?
So, the kids are going to sing this song called Thankful, and as you sit there, may that be your prayer as well. Um, this is Thankful. Then spring. 
rain came, and everybody was joyful. One day, a kind Indian came to the village. Hello, people. I want to offer you my help. Soon, more Indians came.
give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 and so some of you guys, as you were watching that, you were wondering, why does that guy keep sitting in the chair? Well, because every time he sat in that chair, he stopped what he was doing to give thanks for whatever was going on. Whether it was work, as strenuous and stressful as it was, he stopped and he gave thanks. Whether it was his kids at the breakfast table, or even if it was a loved one that had gone on, um, he was thankful for that time he got to share with them and to love them. Whatever it may be, in everything, give thanks, for this is his will for you. So, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family and for my friends. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and the school. Thankful for my family and my teacher and everything else in the world. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and food. For food, shelter, and food. I am thankful for my family, my friends, and my food. I am thankful for my family and friends. I'm thankful for my three fish. in the school. I'm thankful for my family, friends, teacher, and God, and everything else in the world. I'm thankful for family, food, and more. I'm thankful for my mom and my dad and my family. I'm thankful for my friends, family, and my teacher. I am thankful for my family, my friends, and my food. I am thankful for my family and my friends. I'm thankful for this great opportunity need to show God's love.
my friends. I'm thankful for my family and friends and the opportunity to share God's word. church, my family, and God. We are in a room. All of you are sitting in a Thanksgiving chair just like that one. So, what are you thankful for? Because we can't listen to what everybody's thankful for, I want you to take a minute, just like the guy in the video, and I want you to bow your head for just a moment, and I want you to tell God what you are thankful for. Tell him right now. Maybe the only time you get to tell him during this Thanksgiving season, he's listening. So tell him now what you're thankful for. Lord Jesus, there is so much, so much to give thanks for. It was a funny video, but Lord God, it is true. We are full. We are full of reasons to give you praise, to give you honor. And Lord Jesus, you are a thanksgiver. There were so many times in the Bible that you stopped and you gave thanks to the Father. Lord Jesus, ultimately, this holiday season, Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving, may we stop and take an inventory of all the things that you have given us to uh, shape and mold our lives to be like you, because that's what it all is for. All the blessings you've given us are things you've given us to use to shape us to be more like you, the good, the bad, all. So, Lord, that is our prayer. As we sing this next song, Lord God, I pray everybody in this room that they would make it their prayer over this next season, that we would be more like you, and that includes giving thanks in everything. Will you stand with us, please, and worship with us?
that for the first time today, that this would be the beginning of a new and wonderful life. We want to be like you. Take this life to have our hearts, have it all. Our goal, our ultimate goal in life is not how much money we made, how smart we get, um, and how many friends we have. Our ultimate goal in life, Lord, is to be like you. So help us to remember that and be thankful for all the things you give and do and let happen so that we can be shaped to be more like you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. There are some more announcements. So if you'll stay right there. We are so thankful to have everyone here today. Thank you for your